going to a public outdoor swimming pool in China. What is it like? What kind of people go there? What does it cost? How are the facilities? We are about to find out together. So join me in today's video. I'll take you to an outdoor swimming pool in Chengdu, Sichuan province, China. My name is Mark and welcome to join me on today's adventure. We already arrived at Chengdu, Mongzuilan swimming pool. I'm about to go inside, so let's go. Foot bath before the entrance. Mongzuilan swimming pool welcomes you. First, we put some sunscreen on because the sun in summer in China can be really hot, really intense, and we don't want to get burned. It's a rather nice and sunny day today in Sichuan's capital, Chengdu, which is why I'm gonna make the best out of it and came for a swim. As you probably noticed, we skipped the part of buying a ticket in this swimming pool. Don't you need one in China? Of course you do. But most Chinese swimming pools offer the option to buy a ticket online through their app or through a website. Very convenient. So you just scan a QR code and you can directly enter. The price of the entry ticket was 25 RMB or around $3.80 for a whole day ticket. So you can stay half an hour or you can stay the whole day. This is quite on the lower range of swimming pool prices here in Chengdu. Do you think that's an affordable price for a day at the swimming pool? Were you expecting lower or higher prices? Let me know in the comments below. As you've probably noticed already, there's a lot of elderly people here. Hardly any young people, hardly any girls. Why is that? This is partly because in China, people don't want to get too tan. That's very contrary to the Western world where being tan looks healthy. In China, most people want to have a very white and fair skin because it makes you look more wealthy and it's just a beauty standard. So most people will not come to the outdoor swimming area. Most of them, they go indoors. But also, it's a weekday afternoon. Most people, as I understand, are very busy at work at the moment. So they don't have the time or the possibility to come to the pool to enjoy the sun or to do some exercise. <laughs> As you can see, the facilities here are also quite basic. There's a 15 meter pool where you can swim quite well. The water is a very nice temperature. It's very clean. There's some places to sit and lay and that's all. Very basic. This is mostly due to the fact that swimming is not seen as a recreational activity as in the Western world here in China. Swimming is more a sport something that you do to stay healthy, to get in shape. That's why there's not so many fancy things and places around in the swimming pool. It's really just everything focusing on the swimming part. Ah, just finished my 12 laps for today. That's the target for today. And now it's time for a little snack. <laughs> in Chinese swimming pools, and that's also quite different from European, swimming pools, you're allowed to bring as many drinks and snacks as you wish. Nobody will even say a word. Finished my swim for today. I worked on my tan, I had a nice workout and that's about it for today's episode. Now I'm already outside, about to take a walk in this beautiful park and then go home and cook some nice lunch. I am super hungry right now. I want to know from you. What is your opinion about Chinese public outdoor swimming pools? How is it different from what you've expected? Is it better or is it worse than your expectation and why? 
let me know in the comments. If you've enjoyed today's episode, leave a like and subscribe for more interesting stories and adventures from China and all over the world.